Let me tell you something. It is so annoying not being able to just like generally feel safe. Um, but I'm so thankful for the Starbucks employees. So this guy comes in to Starbucks. I'm minding my own effing business. And I guess I look like an attorney. I'm wearing a black dress, gold earrings. I've got a laptop open. Listen, I, okay. He comes in and he was like, just immediately walks up to me. Doesn't even walk up to the counter, nothing. And he's like, I think that's him too. He walks up to me, he goes, do you work for a law firm company? And I had headphones on, so I pulled my headphone out and I was like, what? And he goes, do you work for a law firm company? And I was like, no. And he goes, oh, okay. And just like walked out. Well, so weird. Under, okay, cool. Like, I look like an attorney. Again, there's like other people in the place. He passed them to get some come to me. So a couple minutes go by and he like walks inside again and just like peeks in the door. So I look, it looks like he's been in a car accident. His car's kind of dinged up. I don't know if that happened like in the parking lot and that's like someone ran away. He's asking for an attorney. Listen, I've watched enough cops in Life PD to know like you, if you get in a car accident, if that's actually what happened, you, you call the police because you need a police report. You don't freaking call an attorney right away. So I was just like, it was weird. I don't know. So I, I assume he was in a car accident. I don't know. Yeah, that's absolutely him. He's still sitting in the back of the parking lot. Second time he comes in, he's like walking around the building and he like comes inside, looks at me again immediately. Starbucks employee was like, mm -mm, and goes outside and like asks him if he needed anything. He said no. So now he's sitting in the back of the lot. It's so weird. And I don't know, I know what car he drives now. But I don't wanna like get, I don't want him to like follow me. I don't know, but I'm like, my car doors are locked. But, but the Starbucks employee did tell him to leave. Like he immediately got up, went outside, was like, do you need something? Okay, you gotta go. I didn't even say anything to him. And I could tell that he could tell I was sketched out and he walked back in and he just like smiled at me. And it was like, there was no communication that was had between me and the Starbucks employee, but I could tell he handled it. Oh, it's so, it's such a shame how scared. Okay. All right, he just walked back to his car. I'm gonna go. Okay, kind of left y'all on a little bit of a cliffhanger there, but everything was good. The guy just, I don't know what the heck that was about. He ended up getting out of his car and there was a woman with him. They walked up to another car um, that was like actively in the drive-thru, which that is, I would not only say that's like a pet peeve of mine, like don't do that to me. Don't walk up while I've got my windows down and I have to have my window down to be ordering. Don't do that. Don't put me in a position where I feel like any kind of weird vibes. They did something and then they got out of the car. Like the guy walked up to a car at the drive-thru and then he went back to their car and then the woman got out and they both went inside. I don't know what was going on, but it was very odd and it wasn't like, they were, again, like it wasn't like they were interested in buying coffee or anything at the store. Like they, he walked in and asked me if his exact words were, do you work for a law firm company? That was his exact wording. And he, when I said no, he turned around and walked out. I don't know, but I now got this big old box of stuff. I've got to film for Abercrombie Hall and I don't know what's going on with the internet. I think I'm gonna like reboot and try again because I am so frustrated. I currently, my computer is saying it is um, going to be six hours until a 14 minute raw footage video can be uploaded. So I'm gonna try and restart my modem. Cause like, I just simply don't have time for this. So anyways, all is good now, we're home. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Whoa. Don't worry, you've said it about six times. The big old pop belly. Okay, wait, 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 move, 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 move. Move. I'm gonna get it on camera. Loose get half back. Bro. He's mad because I took the car. It's how easy he does it that like is terrifying. Oh, there's a little puppy under there. A little blue puppy. You were chasing that puppy dog? No, I can't. No, leave your brother alone. He was playing with it first. You guys, look how cute these two chairs are. The boys, godmother, well, godparents get these for him, them for their first birthdays. Mm. This is like the 
first time Ezra's had clothes on today. <laughs> Same with you, Ro. Who's so focused on this doll. I mean, my goodness. He is like all into this dog. Yeah, it runs away from him. He got excited. Oh. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he is like, he is into it. <gasps> Does he run away? God, he looks just like you. Look at Where did we, did we get that or was that a gift for Ezra? I think it's a gift for Ezra for Okay, Ezra's I birthday. need help, Bobby. You don't need help. You're a grown man. Figure it out. I need help. Look, you fixed it. You got you it. Chill out for a second. Quit hammer fisting it. <laughs> He's so glad. I need help. It's like fixes it and breaks it again before he realizes he fixed it. I need help. Put it down. Do it easy. Look. So got this one chasing the blue car. And watch, as soon as I turn this camera off, I'm trying to keep it on him. You wanna go slide? Not with the doggy. Let's just slide. He's like, I'll do what I want. It's mine. <laughs> it's my truck. And over to Bubba's toys. Bye. You kids are crazy.